This is the Junkers 87, also known as the Stuka dive bomber. Obviously a German plane from World War II. Uh, you might look at it and go, oh, I kind of recognize it, but I guarantee everybody on the internet, everybody knows something about this plane. Um, it was designed to be very lightweight. Uh, it could be disassembled and put on a, a rail car and move forward so that during the Blitzkrieg movements, the, the Germans would have uh, a, a plane that could fly out in front and, and dive bomb on, on enemy locations. Uh, they had all kinds of different uh, contraptions for the wheels. These are the big wheels for landing in, on the steppe of Russia. It had some skinny wheels for just landing on runways. And then it also even came with skis. Uh, they could put this thing to use just about anywhere. It wasn't really fast. And it certainly didn't carry a big payload, but it was super uh, maneuverable and was a terrifying weapon for those, hello Dash, um, terrifying weapon for those that were on the ground. One of the first uh, sort of air support planes ever built specifically for air support. It was built for the Blitzkrieg. Now, here's how everybody knows it. It had a two-man crew. And the plane would fly into position, it would fly right over its target, right way high, roll over upside down, and then go into its dive. When it was in the dive, these little things, these are not propellers to bring it forward. These are sirens. Hitler called them the uh, Jericho trumpets. They would, en they would engage and start turning in the wind. And this airplane would make the sound that all of us hear anytime a propeller-driven airplane is diving towards the ground. Doesn't matter if it's a sop with camel, that's the sound. It goes like that, something like that. You all hear it. It's Pink Floyd used it on albums. It gets used everywhere. Anytime it's a propeller plane going after something, this these things are are put in the movie or the television show or the 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 album. So the Jericho sirens were this fearful weapon and when the thing would be in a dive the people on the ground would hear it coming at them not the normal sound of an airplane just going Arr, but the eep. that was this that is still used today all over the place and that came from this weapon which was mostly used to terrify people anyway this is the junkers 87 the otherwise known as stuka dive bomber and it's going to get taken apart this weekend what was the most difficult part of that build uh, most difficult part of the build would have been the canopy. The canopy on this is the, the 30 millimeter gun that fires backwards out of it with this guy actually goes through the glass. And I just couldn't do that. So I had to really work on the canopy to get it right. Yep. yep. Good job, Boo. Thank you, babe.